in this video I am going to discuss about how to calculate cumulative salary in Oracle database. So at here I am using EMP table. So this is the record inside EMP table and currently working on a Scott schema here. Now let's see about the cumulative salary of an employee. So at here this is the salary columns. Here salary columns and this is the rows here. So about the cumulative salary, the salary is a start from whatever the first and here after that going to add one by one. So add here thousand. So it's a thousand. Now thousand plus two thousand. The value is now three thousand. And here after uh, this three thousand going to add with here. Three thousand plus three thousand is now six thousand. Six thousand plus four thousand here ten thousand. Ten thousand plus four thousand fourteen thousand and fourteen thousand plus five thousand is the nineteen thousand. So if this kind of situation comes. So we can say this is the cumulative salary here. Now let's understand by example. So add here using EMP table and here the most important columns is sal here and DPT number. So add here first use select a statement. Select going to select add here EMP number. Now a after E name. Next is DPT number and here after going to select SAN column. Now here after SUM and here SAN and here OVER going to use OVER clause and here giving ORDER BY on SAN columns. So ORDER BY on SAN columns. And let's click alias CU over M. And here after from EMP table. Now let's execute this query. So see at here one extra column is created. And here I selected EMP number, ename, DPT number and style columns. So this I selected from EMP table. And here one extra column is created QM. So at here the salary. So 800. So at here it's displaying 800. 800 plus 950 it's now 1750 and 1750 plus 1100 it's now 2850 and 2850 plus 1250 it's now 5350 and 5350 plus 250 it's still displaying 5350 or oh, the reason is at here DPT number is the same so that here I'm getting this kind of output 5350, 5350. So it's not a cumulative salary. Okay. So the output should be displayed 5350 plus 1250, some values. So let's rectify here. Yeah. So at you're going to copy this. And here after. So we need to use at here over. Order by sal, order by sal, and you're going to add add here or range between range between unbonded to seating and current. If you execute this query, you will get the same output. So add here, if you don't use this one, so by default it's already inside there. So about to this one, range between unbounded preceding. So add here, the range between unbounded preceding. So add here, suppose if the value is now start from this row, add here, that go to the current row. So I start from here, uh, and that go and continue till here only. So like this at here, start from here and in in this row. And here start from here in in this row. Start here, come uh, in at this row. So for this we have to use at here uh, instead of range we have to use rows. So we have to rows use rows. Now after executing this query. 
So see add here. Now I am getting the expected output. So add here 800. Now Kim 800. 800 plus 950 is now 1750. 1750 plus 1100 2850. And 2850 plus 1250 41. 100 and 41 100 plus 1250 5350 like this this is going to add so this is the right output and the, this is the right query to calculate the cumulative salary so add here this is the right output now here after so let's uh, understand wait, uh, what is the rows add here the rows between unbounded preceding so add here Unbounded preceding means that is a start from here and on a range rows. So at here rows between unbounded preceding. So this is the start from here and or this will complete from here. Now again that is start from here, complete there. Again that is start from here, complete there. So like this from a start from here and that to check the rows one by one till the end till the end so that here it's uh, uh, giving the right output but if you use range clause so you miss a start from here or uh, unbounded proceeding and the current row means complete or uh, uh, stop at this point only a start from one row a stop from one row but if you are using rows a start from here and after that uh, that check one by one to the another row so start from here and that till go end. So this is the things about the rows and range here. Now here after if you want to calculate department wise cumulative style. So for this we have to include some extra points. So we need to use and here partition by clause. So over and here after we need to use partition by. So Partition by clause is used to divide the data according to given condition. So at a partition by going to apply on DPT number. So that means so at a or select a star from EMP and giving the order by DPT number. So if you execute to this query. So see at here, it's all record inside EMP and giving the order by on DPT. So if you are using at here partition by clause, so I apply partition by on DPT number. So that means uh, it create the partition of DPT 10 in one group, 20 partition in another group and 13 for another. So if you execute to this query, so this will calculate the cumulative cell according to DPT number. So see at here, or DPT 10 here, 1300, 1300 plus 2450, 3750, and 3750 is 5850. So after this, this is the one partition on DPT 10. Now here after it's create new partition on 20. DPT 20. So 800 cumulative cell 800, 800 plus 1100, 1900, 1900 plus 2950, 4875. So here after win 20 or DPT 20 completed, now that created the partition on DPT 30. So 950, 950, here 950, 1250, 1200. So like this, that continues. So this is the way we can create a cumulative cell in Oracle database. So at here I am using dot for Oracle. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.